in map and compass work to find a grid bearing many people use a compass. It's a very straightforward procedure but there's also something else that you can use to find a grid bearing and that is a protractor and that is very simple procedure as well and also you can see that's the protractor there also it's got the uh, scales as well you can use it as a roamer but what I use this mostly for is for calculating grid bearings <coughs> now I have a playlist on my channel called land navigation it covers all aspects of land navigation using map and a compass it's got uh, techniques for beginners and also it moves on to some more advanced techniques and also on that playlist I have a video which shows demonstrates how to find a grid bearing using a compass and also another separate video showing demonstrating how to find a grid bearing using a protractor so that's it that's the uh, a grid bearing protractor <laughs>